Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of Japanese and South Korean fishing. Ever wondered how billions of squid and tuna make their way from the ocean to your plate? We're about to unveil the incredible technologies and ancient techniques that power some of the most productive fisheries in the world. From the mesmerizing glow of squid fishing boats to the high stakes auctions at market, we've got it all covered. So make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and stick around until the end. You won't want to miss any of the amazing insights we have in store. Let's get started. Japan is renowned for its innovative fishing methods and long-standing maritime traditions that significantly bolster its seafood industry. Among the various techniques employed, longline fishing and jigging stand out as particularly effective for catching tuna and squid, respectively. Longline fishing, favored for tuna, involves deploying a main fishing line up to 30 miles long with over 2,000 baited hooks, effectively capturing large, deep-swimming species like bluefin tuna. Common baits are squid and mackerel. Once caught, tuna are bled, gutted, and stored in ice or refrigerated seawater tanks. For export or extended storage, they are flash-frozen at around minus 60 degrees Celsius to prevent ice crystals from forming, maintaining the quality for premium sushi and sashimi. In squid fishing, Japanese fishermen use powerful lights to attract squid to the surface at night. The squid are then caught using mechanized jigging machines, which employ lines with multiple jigs or lures, mimicking small fish. These machines allow for a high volume of squid to be efficiently captured, supporting both domestic consumption and a significant export market. High-grade bluefin tuna are auctioned at Tokyo's Toyosu Market, a bustling hub replacing the iconic Tsukiji Market. Here, tuna are meticulously inspected and graded based on size, color, fat content, and overall quality. In 2019, a 276 kilogram bluefin tuna was sold for about $3.1 million, underscoring the immense value placed on top quality tuna. Squid undergo a different yet equally meticulous processing journey. In processing plants, squid are cleaned, gutted, and sorted by species, size, and quality. Automated machines ensure efficiency and uniformity, preparing squid in various forms such as rings, strips, or whole for grilling or boiling. Some are processed into surimi, used to make imitation crab and other seafood products. Japan's fishing industry is significant to the nation's economy. In 2022, the country harvested approximately 21 million pounds of bluefin tuna and 989,000 pounds of squid. These products are staples in the domestic market and highly sought after internationally, with significant quantities shipped to China, South Korea, and the United States. Additionally, high-quality marlin, often used for sashimi and sushi, is a valuable export. Maintaining sustainable practices is a challenge for the fishing industry. Techniques like jigging are preferred due to their lower bycatch rates, making them more environmentally friendly. This method selectively targets squid, reducing the capture of non-target species and minimizing ecological impact. Similarly, the use of squid pots and selective harpoon fishing for marlin supports sustainability by focusing on specific species. South Korea also boasts a thriving fishing industry characterized by large-scale troll fishing for species like mackerel and Alaska pollock. Advanced technologies such as sonar and GPS enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of shrimp fishing by accurately locating shrimp populations. South Korea emphasizes sustainable fishing practices with strict regulations, including total allowable catch limits, seasonal closures, and fishing gear restrictions to protect fish populations and ensure long-term viability. This approach supports the domestic market and makes South Korean seafood products competitive globally, particularly in Japan, 
the United States, and Europe. Both Japan and South Korea demonstrate how advanced techniques and a commitment to sustainability drive successful and environmentally conscious fishing industries. Their innovative methods and rigorous standards ensure the continued availability of high-quality seafood while protecting marine ecosystems for future generations. In conclusion, the advanced fishing techniques and sustainable practices employed by Japan and South Korea showcase their dedication to preserving marine ecosystems while maintaining a thriving seafood industry. By leveraging innovative methods such as longline fishing, mechanized jigging, and advanced processing technologies, these countries not only ensure the availability of high-quality seafood, but also contribute significantly to the global seafood market. Both nations demonstrate how a balance between tradition and innovation can lead to economic success and environmental stewardship. Their commitment to sustainable fishing practices serves as a model for other countries looking to protect marine life while meeting the growing demand for seafood. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the fascinating world of fishing and seafood industries. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching.